world's richest man, Elon Musk, is famous for his Tesla's Giga factories, typically Giga Shanghai with an enormous capacity of almost 20,000 vehicles per week. Now, after all these years of experience, Musk finally decided to apply this idea to his space company, SpaceX. And most recently, Musk revealed the first images of the Starship Giga factories. What will they look like? And why does Musk decide to build them? All this and more in today's episode. SpaceX is working on Starship, a fully reusable vehicle capable of performing long duration voyages to Mars, towards transforming humans into multi-planetary species. Not only is the company taking on the challenge of developing a fully reusable interplanetary launch vehicle, but it is also creating a production system at the Starbase factory located in Boca Chica Beach, Texas to manufacture hundreds of starships within the next 10 years. During a recent TED interview, Elon Musk revealed a new bold goal for the Starship manufacturing rate. We, 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 are, we have built a production system for Starship, so we're, we're, we're making a lot of ships and boosters. Well, we're currently expecting to um, make a, a booster and a ship, well, initially roughly every couple months and hopefully by, by the end of this year, um, uh, one every month. Yep, you didn't hear wrong. SpaceX will build a duo of Starship and Super Heavy boosters per month. That is unbelievable. That begs a question. What made them set this goal? Musk believes it is important to have a high production rate because it enables engineers to move on rapidly to test the next prototype after a failure. Long term, SpaceX aims to build at least one starship each week to achieve building a fleet of a thousand starships by 2050. At that rate, the company would achieve building around 100 starships every two years. The idea seemed crazy, but Musk's actually serious about it. In fact, Elon Musk has had a lot of experience with some similar projects. He lived through production hell at Tesla in 2017 and 2018, building up factories, changing processes, spending many sleepless nights, and going through all manner of mental agony. Luckily, the rewards are well worth the effort. Musk then applied the well worth lessons learned from Tesla's assembly line to SpaceX. Two and a half years since the first time Musk shared a photo of the first Starship, SpaceX has so far built Starship serial number 27 and Super Heavy Booster serial number 10. The stacking of a Starship from start to finish right now just takes around three months. It's pretty impressive, don't you think? Obviously, at that rate, no space company can beat SpaceX in rocket manufacturing speed. Despite that, that speed is still too far behind the set goal. Elon Musk and SpaceX have also perhaps noticed this. Thus, the company has started laying the foundations for the coming Starship mass production. First off, SpaceX will need to have much more space to build and stack ships and boosters. According to RGV Aerial Photography, SpaceX aims to replace all of Starbase's tents with a single 300,000 square foot or approximately 28,000 square meter building that will be about 18 meters or 60 feet tall and likely measure around 800 feet or 250 meters long and 400 feet or 120 meters wide. Starbase's tents are roughly the same height, but their tented roofs mean that only a fraction of that height can be used for ring work and only a fraction of the floor space for taller nose work. In comparison, a 300,000 square foot building would have almost two and a half times as much covered floor space as Starbase's three tents, all of which can theoretically be used for ring and nose section assembly. In fact, with a mostly flat 18 meter roof, SpaceX could feasibly expand most stacks by a ring or two, 
which would reduce the number of sections and thus stacking operations needed to assemble a ship or booster. A month and a half later, SpaceX, or its contractors, began raising the first steel beams of the new building and made significant progress in just a handful of days. The first vertical beam was erected on April 19th. As is, the structure likely represents a good overview of the first of three new Starship production buildings that will eventually be joined to form one giant monolithic rocket factory. To make it easier to imagine, it looks a bit like a giant air conditioning unit. A few weeks ago, CEO Elon Musk shared a slideshow from a recent SpaceX all-hands meeting revealing the company's current priorities, sources of pride, and the first official renders of a few future projects. And of course, that includes the future factories of Starship. Look, this is Star Factory after completing construction. It's incredibly impressive, wouldn't you think? Notably, in the same slideshow, Musk revealed the first official renders of not a factory but a pair of next-generation Starship factories SpaceX has already begun building. At a new and rapidly growing SpaceX facility located on NASA Kennedy Space Center property, the company is simultaneously building a second-generation Starship factory to supply multiple planned Florida launch sites with their own Starships and Super Heavy boosters. SpaceX has submitted updated plans for the Roberts Road Starship production area. The main factory is now a total of 648,000 square foot, or around 60,200 square meter. That's 136,000 square foot, or 12,600 square meter larger than in previous plans. This is also confirmation that there will be two high bays, each 32,136 square foot, or approximately 3,000 square meters. Here's the footprint of the main building overlaid on the Google Maps imagery of the Starbase production site for scale. Huge thanks to Harry Stranger for this update. Now, SpaceX is still actively working in both regions. With the current progress, maybe we will see factories of the future soon. And at that time, the production hell will be open. And that's it for today's episode, and my team and I will see you next time. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.